Joining us now to break down how this illegal immigration impacts states and how such a plan could be carried out is Montana Attorney General uh, Austin Knutson. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Janelle, you bet. My pleasure. General Knutson, does Montana have any sanctuary cities currently? We do not. Montana, uh, our state legislature took the preemptive step of banning sanctuary cities in our state. Uh, that's, a, that's an authority that our legislative branch has. Uh, that passed. Our legislature, our, our legislature passed it. Our governor signed that into law. Uh, so, no, we don't have sanctuary cities in Montana. Now, we, we do have trouble with this issue for sure. Uh, just as the the law enforcement, the, the chief law enforcement officer in the state, we do see a significant amount of illegal immigrants coming into the state of Montana, usually trafficking illicit narcotics. Uh, that's the single biggest problem we have in the state of Montana, and that's where we see this. Interesting. So um, I guess that begs the question, if you say that the Montana legislature has banned sanctuary cities, um, for these states that do have sanctuary cities, would they have to pass legislation to, I guess, remove the sanctuary city status? How does that work? Well, this is a really interesting legal issue. I mean, when, when you think about this, it, it gets down to who, whose authority is it to deal with illegal immigration and deal with immigration issues. And it's right. pretty clear in the federal constitution that that power does belong to the federal executive. So I do think that if President Trump uh, puts in place a good plan, uh, they would have authority to come in and do this sort of thing. Now, here, here's, here's wow. the rub we have in Montana right now. We do have a pretty significant mm -hmm. federal border patrol and customs footprint here in Montana. We're a northern border state, but we do see a lot of that stuff. None of those right. agents will go on the record and tell you this publicly, but I have been told this privately by a number of them, that these deportations, even of dangerous criminals, if they are in this country illegally, is not happening. That's really concerning when you have these people coming into states like Montana committing major felonies, whether they're trafficking fentanyl, causing deaths, uh, overdose deaths, or, or committing property crimes, personal crimes, whatever the case may be, when the state is done with them, they're turned over to the feds and those people are supposed to be deported. And what I'm being told by numerous sources is that that is just simply not happening. Uh, so we actually need President Trump to step in here, get those federal agencies going in the, in the direction they need to be going. You've got federal law enforcement that want to do their job. They've just been hamstrung by the Biden-Harris administration. Wow. No, that's such a great... Um point in talking about this. The, the question obviously becomes, I mean, this becomes a, a tug of war between federal authority, as you laid out, and the states and even cities. Like, whose authority are we actually going to follow? And on the one hand, we do have this mass immigration and arguably national security problem with all of this illegal immigration. But at the same time, um, you have to wonder if a move like that, as demanded as it is right now by the American people, for us to sign something away and eliminate these sanctuary cities, does that set a precedent for other kinds of authoritative acts that are not necessarily immigration related? You know, I, I'm not concerned about that because like, like I said, I think this would be completely hmm. constitutional and, and that's the world I have to live in. We, we have to examine as state attorneys general whether the actions taken right. by the executive, by, by the federal government, are constitutional. Do they fall within their powers granted to them by the U.S. Constitution, period? And I think in this case, that very clearly would. The, the authority to deal with immigration and international border issues belongs to the president and to the federal executive. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One American News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.